fine. Whatever. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're going to talk about family or fiance. So I like to watch own shows and I already review Ready to Love. So I was watching TV last night and I came across this episode of Family or Fiance with Shanika and Justin. It was really a good episode, but I feel like um, a lot of people will be able to relate to this uh, episode. I like watching stuff like this because it's sometimes really good to see other people's issues that they might be dealing with. As a parent, you might be able to see, oh, dang, I, I probably made some of these same mistakes with my kids or whatever, because an adult is just a kid that's grown up. But however you process stuff as a kid has everything to do with what kind of adult you become. So... Um, what was interesting to me about this is it was a lot that wasn't said. Like, it was a lot of things that made you, like, think, like, what did they leave out? And own y'all know how own be editing? Y'all watch Ready to Love. Y'all know damn well how own be on the edits. And so, I don't know, guys. First of all, when I first saw them, I was like, okay. Um... He has a crucial underbite, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that, but I feel like he feels like he can only get her. I feel like that's something that probably bothered him, and he has gotten with her, and I feel like he feels like this is the best that he can do. And there's no shade to Shanika. But let me go ahead and get into some of the things that stuck out to me for this, uh, this show. So they get to the house and everything. And you know, Dr. Um, her name is Tracy McMillan. Like the author. If y'all know who Tracy McMillan, the author is, they have the same name. But so the the doctor is talking to them and asking them about their relationship and things that, you know, they expect to happen when their family gets ill, whatever. And one of the things that stood out to me as a red flag was that Shanika said that if her family can't accept her relationship, she's parting ways with that part of her life. And so, I, listen, I'm all for cutting people off when that energy ain't right, family or not. But in this situation, as the story unfolds, she is, I don't feel like she's right for thinking like that because it's just a lot of stuff that wasn't on the table. There was so much in this episode. Um, and so, you know, it opens up and, you know, we learned that she hasn't spoken to her brother for 11 months and that she fell out with the family at an engagement party, at their engagement party. So the whole thing about the engagement party was weird because apparently, like, she promised that she would rent, like, vehicles and places to stay for people and she didn't come through on that. And apparently it was never, like, hashed out or, or, or talked about. Um... So, you know, they got some, like, stale feelings or whatever, but they didn't even hug when he got there. He was just kind of looking like, what, what is this about to be about? How is this going to go? Their wedding is in 80 days, okay? But this weekend that they're here for is only a three-day weekend. It's only three days. I don't really know how much stuff you can pass out in three days, but if you're willing to, you know, do the work or whatever, or you're really looking for help, then I feel like you probably can make some progress or at least, uh, you know, decide that you're going to go forward with therapy continuing after this show. Like, I wonder what the deal is with own when they have these people on here and they see these, like, really deep issues. Do they offer the family therapy after the fact? Because a lot of episodes probably can use it, but this definitely, definitely... Everybody can benefit from therapy, but this episode, like, they actually really need some therapy. And so, okay. So, then we find out that, like, Justin's family doesn't even know what's going on with Shanika's family. He's just, like, taking her word for it. And that's just dangerous because he doesn't really understand the dynamics of whatever is going on. So, it's, like, weird to me that he didn't even ask questions. Um, all the stuff that came out in this episode, I definitely would have put a pause on the wedding and I'd have been like, okay, we need to talk. You know, we need therapy, we need to talk or whatever because um, 
you know, to a certain extent, it's important what the family thinks of the person. I mean, there's situations where, okay, family, you know, sometimes they can be haters, but this, this scenario probably happens a lot. And it was just important things that Justin needed to know that she felt that she didn't need to tell him. And so that's kind of, like I said, that's dangerous to me. Um, so Shanika's family gets there first, and Justin's family comes, and she, the mom, Justin's mom was saying that Shanika always tells her that her family is weird. So that's interesting too, because like, why would you down talk your own family? I mean, you just might as well not say anything. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just me. So when Shanika's family gets there and they all come to the couch for the family meeting or whatever, her family had a conversation before they got to the couches and it seemed like they got some type of bombshell to drop or whatever. They're all talking about something that Justin doesn't know, like something that Justin doesn't know about. And so... um they go to the family meeting and they're going around the room telling them that we brought you here for this and you know what do you um hope to get out of this weekend and so the mom says uh she hopes that they don't have any so this is shanika's mom that says she hopes that they don't have any secrets and that she talks to her brother so her aunt asked her to be transparent and says talk to him about the baby issue okay and then her brother's name is Tony, and Tony says he's concerned for Justin and says that his sister is a liar. So, okay, off the off the top, we got the family already going in. They're they're, they're uh, you know talking in subliminals or whatever, and then some of them are getting straight to the point. Um, but I, I always wonder, like, when you go on these shows where your family is going to be invited. You have no idea what your family's gonna say, so it would be in your best interest to try to clean about whatever before they get there. Like there should be no surprises because you know your family. Y'all know y'all got family that be like on ten. You know what I'm saying? They don't care who's around. They're gonna say whatever they gotta say. So that was just wild to me. They like, you know, I, and that right there alone would have had me being like, "Whoa, your sister's a liar!" Like, why would you say that? Why would he say that? <laughs> I mean, if it's true, it's true. But I would be asking if, if I was Justin, you know, why would he say that, boo? Why? Tony is, look at his face. He's ready. He is, when they said that they, when they told, okay, so, so they go forward. And so Justin's mom says that he needs to speak up for himself and communication is an issue. So... I don't even remember what the other two people said because I was just so focused on the fact that he said his sister was a liar. His, her aunt was like <laughs> telling about the baby issue. It was just a lot. Um, but I do think that it's important to meet family because you just need to see how the dynamics work. You know what I mean? Even if it's somebody like that, if they decide that they don't fuck with their family, okay, you know, some people have legitimate reasons. I feel like it's important for a person you're dating to know all the stuff that's going on. And so they go on to say what, that they're going to play this game called Dicey Questions. And I think she had like a tower of questions or something like that. Shanika had to go with Justin's family and Justin had to go with Shanika's family. And so when they mentioned what the game was going to be, Tony looked excited, y'all. He looked real excited. Like, I was like, what is this dude going to say? So he, you know, they go on back and forth. Y'all got to watch to see the, the table scene. Um, yeah, I gotta watch Tony walking away from the table with spaghetti hanging out of his mouth, still talking. Um, it was just a lot, and then the whole time that stuff was happening at these table scenes, the mom, Chanika's mom, was just kind of sitting there looking and watching her and Tony argue. So it was like to me, it was given this is what they always do, and I can't control them, kind of thing, or I can't, I can't do anything about it. So it comes out that Shanika lied about the baby. Well, I mean, she lied about the transportation and the rooms that she was supposed to get there for the engagement party, but it comes out that she told her family that she had a baby. She even had a picture of some baby, but then she told Justin that she had an abortion. And 
Then she was just like, well, I lied to y'all. I didn't lie to him. That's a that's a problem for me. Red flag. That's a problem for me, lady. I'm so sorry. Um, but so Justin finds out that she lied about the baby to her family. And so she, he didn't really seem to care. He was just really like into going with the story that Shanika put out there. Somebody asked her, somebody asked Shanika, has she ever lied to anyone at the table? Oh, when she was uh when she was playing the question game with Justin's family, um, one of his family members was like, Have you ever lied to anybody at the table? She says, No, I don't think so. I would be questioning that. Like, why wouldn't you know if you lied? Like, anyway, so um, like I said, the family dinner and all the scenes at the table were just kind of intense. Um, Tony got really, really mad and angry because Shanika be lying. And I'm going to tell y'all, it, it does piss you off when somebody is like egregiously lying. Like, why are you egregiously lying? That shit does piss you off. But, you know, I don't know. I guess at some point while you're filming these shows, you kind of forget the cameras are there or whatever. But Tony went off. Um, so then they go to another day where Justin's mom is outside with him and they're talking. And she asked him, does he really want to take this on? Like previously at the one of the table scenes, the mom was like, you know, she mentioned that Shanika kept saying that her family was weird. And now she sees why. But I couldn't tell if she was on Shanika's side or if she was on the, the um, you know, on the brother's side. So she asked, uh, so the next day she asked Justin if he really wants to take this on because um, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? People have, she, she, she detected mental issues and he says that he realizes that it's much deeper than the stuff they came there to fix. But then later on when they were talking back with, the, with uh, Dr. Tracy McMillan, she asked him, does she, does, like the things that he heard make him have a question mark about her? And he says, sort of. Um, or whatever like i don't know blink twice justin if you need help because i don't know what's going on and i heard that he a police officer i didn't hear that part in the uh in the show but i was watching somebody else um talk about this and uh, apparently he's a police officer which is wild because wouldn't he be okay with like simple lines of questioning when he doesn't understand something or it's, it's i don't know it 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 was it was wild and then if you think about the lie about the baby, it's not like she said, oh, I'm pregnant. And then she never talked about it again. Like she actually went forward to pretend like she was pregnant, pretend like there was a baby. And some of the family that wasn't there apparently still thinks that a baby exists. And like, who the fuck was the baby picture that she used? So she admits that it was an elaborate scheme and that's a problem that's a problem i would have had to stop because here's here's what i foresee i foresee justin winning no arguments i foresee justin getting very frustrated i see shanika lying her way out of everything like she already be lying so i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't do it but she said she she got into it a little bit and said that you know because of whatever trauma that she went through and they kept mentioning the father the father has passed away so um she kept mentioning the father and but she said she lost the ability to stop lying and then the doctor says well it seems like it's some mental health issues there and she said yeah it was she said no there there still is and she was like yeah but grief is grief is a mug y'all like grief will make people act in different ways so who who knows but at one point the doctor brings her brother in to talk to her and it comes out that she has catfished his friends or some mutual friends that they had back in high school she catfished them and like didn't care she didn't have no remorse so it was like okay all of these things she was doing are just elaborate and so it seems like you know when people bring up stuff like that like that was back in high school clearly they're not in high school no more or whatever but when people bring stuff up like that it's like unresolved issues you know what I mean? And he and and if it was happening back in high school, she'd been doing this for a long time. Ain't no telling what she'd be lying about. But she said she did it because she didn't want to be herself. She was depressed or whatever. And 
Then he, then she asked him, why didn't he come and ask him why she was doing it? Which is, which matters not. What do you mean? Why was you doing it? It doesn't matter. That's still like over the top. So then Tony was about to, Tony asked to leave and the doctor was like, well, I actually want you to stay. I was going to ask her to leave. And so the doctor kind of validates him, not even kind of, she validates him and lets him know that she sees what's going on. And, and she says a bunch of things that hit home for him or whatever. So it was a good, uh, a good little session for him because I think he needed to release because he had a lot of anger. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of anger. And I mean, like I said, I, it pisses me off when people would be just blatantly lying about stuff like why are you doing it there was another conversation in the kitchen and when they were in the kitchen he was still talking about how she was lying and things like that and they discussed how you know his experience as a child was different than hers and she's not going to react the same or whatever and um but this is the part where i've really noticed that something must have been taken out because he goes outside and then he comes back in and he says i, I understand you more now and it's like, okay, what did we miss? Because she didn't say anything, but he did mention in a part, like, oh, our dad did what he did, but blah, blah, blah. Like, what did the dad do? Was it that he was strict or, or you know, like, it just doesn't, it just doesn't mesh together in my mind for me. Like, they left a lot of open-ended questions with the way that this was aired because, you know, it just, um, from from how she was in the sessions with the doctor, the things she was saying about how her perception will be changed about her father or like she'll lose her connection with her father. He's not here for her to repair the relationship. Like, I want to know what he did. Like, what is the trauma that she has? Like, I can't see them letting her come in there and admit that she did all these egregious things and not try to make sure that she has help. Now, they did say that they would go to therapy, but like, I need own to follow up on that because um, that's just wild. Like, yeah, you can't tell nobody not to get married, you know, because at the blessing ceremony, the they got all yeses. Justin's mom said this, you know, she said yes because they're going to do what they want to do and she'd rather bless, bless them than curse them. So, I mean, I get that, but I would have definitely been in my son's ear after that, like, hey, you cannot do this. Like, what are you doing? You can't. You can't do this. This, this is this was ridiculous to me that she did all of those things and then they still went on to get married. But it, it also says that um, Tony wasn't invited to the wedding. So I don't know. Maybe that was just all for TV and she was just lying again. I don't know. But this episode was really, really crazy, y'all. Y'all got to watch it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and watch the next episode. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, jump in the comments below. Let me know you was here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Fine, whatever.